in a day so let's start off with breakfast I have two of my cage-free eggs scrambled for four smart points I mixed in a quarter cup of fat-free cheese which I actually kind of like that's zero smart points a tablespoon of full-fat sour cream for one smart point some green onions and then these are some pears that I canned um, and those are zero points because I do not can with um, sugar um, well, sometimes I do, but not those. So, five smart points for breakfast, and catch you at lunch. Okay, I apologize that I'm competing with Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. That's what Simon is watching to keep him occupied. So this is lunch. This is spaghetti squash that I made a while ago. This is actually something that I pulled out of my freezer because I desperately need to go grocery shopping. And it has a half a cup of marinara and a half a cup of grass-fed beef so I calculated this as seven smart points total and then I've got a giant bowl of boring vegetables broccoli cauliflower carrots celery and then I had just a little bit left of my dip left it was a little bit more than one tablespoon and one tablespoon is one point so this is two points so this is my nine point lunch and I just wanted to show you, I got this little, it actually came in a three pack, three pack of magnetic dry erase boards. And then I have just a ton of these little dry erase markers. So I usually plan out my meals um, ahead of time, but I haven't really been doing that. I need to get better about that. But I am tracking and I am really a pen and paper kind of person. I just do better at that. So. I have my total of smart points up and then as I eat I'll just write it down subtract it so that I can kind of have that visual and I can just stick it on the fridge or just leave it here on the table and that's pretty simple so I'll see you the next time I eat what's up it is snack time I'm getting ready to leave the house and I'm gonna be gone for a few hours so it's 4 30 so if I wasn't going to be gone, I would just wait until dinner. I have 18 smart points left. So I'm having a third of a cup of my Greek yogurt, which is two smart points. And then I have a tablespoon of peanut butter, which is three smart points. So And then some blackberries, which are zero smart points. So this is a five-point yogurt snack, very high in the good fats. And will keep me very full until we get back from dinner. So... I will have 13 smart points left for dinner. Dinner time, and I am just going to show you here what I'm having for dinner. So I don't know if you have ever bought these dull chopped salad kits, but I love them. I got a new one, the poppy seed one. This is five smart points for one and a half cups. And the one that I'm eating right now is the Sunflower Crunch. And it has sunflower seeds, bacon, and then an onion citrus dressing. And so it's got kale and Brussels sprouts and lettuce and carrots and red cabbage. And then this is just some rotisserie chicken. Um, the Weight Watchers Online says that it's one point for three ounces. But I only had, I only wanted two ounces. Um... Simon and I, so this is a total of eight smart points. And then Simon and I had a little snack when we got home from the grocery store. It was some of the ice cream that we bought. And I was shocked because I bought the no sugar added, like reduced ice cream. And it was four smart points for a half of a cup. And then just the regular light ice cream was four smart points for half of a cup. And then we bought my husband some just like regular ice cream. And it was like seven or eight points. I can't remember for half of a cup. But <sighs> I guess it is what it is. So I am out of points for the day. And thanks for watching. And I hope that you are having a great weekend and counting your points and planning your meals and happy about your food choices and you've been staring at this plate of chicken and salad
for long enough. So I'll see you later. Here, my Bye. little magnetic dry erase board is all filled in. It did get a little bit uh, wiped away there at the top, but you can see how I've started at the daily total and then I just subtract as I go along and I'm left with one smart point for this evening. I probably am not going to use it. If I do, it will be for a little cup of tea, but it is bedtime, so I'm going to run, then clean up my house, and I may have a small little cup of herbal tea, but there it goes. See, it just lives there on the fridge. Nice and simple. See you next time.